On March 15th, a carefully crafted corporate fraud will be exposed and a vicious hoax will be revealed to the people of the world. Contrary to the rumors that you've heard, I was not born in a manger. I was actually born on Krypton and sent here to save the planet Earth. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. Everybody somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25 will serve three months of basic training. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Obama's South Carolina plan will include coverage of all essential medical services. Yes, we can. Obama is a cruel hoax. He works for Wall Street. He's an agent of finance capital. Where did you come up with the number $700 billion? Here's the uh, Treasury spokeswoman's quote. It's not based on any particular data point. We just really wanted to come up with a really big number. To Democrats and Republicans who've opposed this plan, I say, step up to the plate. A few members were even told that there would be martial law in America if we voted no. Secretary Henry Paulson is no George Washington. I don't think anyone questions, Mr. Kashkari, that you're working hard. Our question is who you're working for. Obama pledged that he would resume the security and prosperity partnership talks between Mexico and Canada that, that President Bush initiated. The old boss is starting to look a lot like the new boss. Robert Gates is going to remain on the job as defense secretary for at least a year. Plenty of sources knew about this meeting, uh, told us and others that it was at Hillary Clinton's house, but clearly uh, it wasn't. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. We see you causing a depression so you can blow out the economy and consolidate it and bankrupt it. We know that you are enemies of free humanity and we are here standing against your tyranny. The Obama deception on March 15th. The people strike back.